Welcome back. So, welcome to my Space Video Tutorials. And please don't forget to subscribe. Today I'm not in my Master Expert t-shirt, but you know, the expert is the inner man, but not the outer. Oh, so today we are going to start geometry 2. Polar coordinate. So we are still journeying through geometry 2, and here we are. Polar coordinate. Polar coordinate. So now, it's an interesting topic and you will love it. Let's start. So polar coordinate. When we talk about polar coordinates, what do we mean? Polar coordinate system is an alternative to the rectangular or Cartesian what? Coordinates. The S, Y, uh, Cartesian plane. Okay? Alright. So, that is your X and the Y. That's when you are giving two points. Eh? When you are giving two points, like X and Y, to plot it. Yeah. So, that is the Cartesian coordinates. Like B, S, Y. So that is the for Cartesian coordinate. So today we are going to uh, use that idea. That, that's what we are saying is the alternative. So in no way that we you can plot X and Y. And there is another way to. And that is the polar what? coordinate. So now let's see the polar coordinate. The polar, the polar coordinate is like this. We are going to look at it uh, at a whole, but we are only picking, let's say, this part to talk about it. So this is called the polar axis. The O here is the origin. Then the P here is the point. Now, be careful. From here to this side is the R. That is the radius. From here to this side is the R. And it's not just R, but what? Positive what? Radius. And the reflection, you see, the reflection gives the what? The negative what? Radius. So, now, what is showing here from this side or from the initial side to this terminal side is what we call the angle which is what? Theta. The angle which is what? Theta. So, this point can be denoted by R Theta. R Theta. So the R can be an, uh, uh, any positive what? number that you know. So if R here is negative, then the point will reflect to this side. So with that one, we are going to get negative r theta, like that. Please, I hope you are getting it. All right. And also, the theta 2 can be negative, and I will talk about it later. So let's move on. So r is the distance from O to P. Q is the, sorry, theta is the angle between the polar wall, Alice, and the segment over P. O is the origin, and P is the what? The point. We have already talked about it. And theta can be positive. And if the angle is positive, that means that we are counting from the anti what? Clockwise. Now, on your phone, you see your phone will go like this. Ke, 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 ke. So if I ask you the time, you will say 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. The reason why you add o'clock means that it goes this direction. How we can see that? Uh -huh. So if it goes the opposite way, if it goes like this, then that would be what? Anti-clockwise. So that means that if theta is positive, you count it anti-clockwise. In some books, you will see counterclockwise. It's the same thing. And if it's negative, we consider it what? Clockwise. How you are getting it? Alright. And the R can be positive or what? Negative. As you can see here. If it's positive, it will be here. And the reflection of it will be what? The negative. Good. So, this is what we are talking about. In fact, everything that we are learning is about this guy. <laughs> It's about this guy. 
pi on 6, the same as what? 31 degrees. Alright. So let's say that I have 30 degrees. And I want to convert to radian. So from degree to radian, you multiply by what? Pi over 180. How we can see that? Alright. So, and this one to when you multiply, you get pi of 6. So you see they are the same. Alright. So you can check any of it that you have. Pi is 180. Pi is 180. You can test. Because pi is in radian. Ha. Pi is in radian. So to get it in degree, you multiply by what? Pi is in radian. So from radian to degree, you multiply by 180 over pi. So this will cancel this. Then you get what? 180. That's how you do the conversion. This one is 270. You can test. This is 90. So let's try 5 pi. 5 pi over 6 times 180. Sorry. It's in radian. So let's go to a degree. That is 180 over pi. So this will cancel this. Then you take your calculator. 5 over 6 times 5 over 6 times 180, you get 150. So that means that you see, that will be the same as 150. You see that? From 150, and they are saying this 180. You see, you need 30 to add to 150 to get what? 180. That's why I'm saying the interval is 30, 30, 30. And the same as pi of what? 6. So it's the same thing. The same thing. The same thing. I hope you can see it. Alright. So let's see how we can uh, plot some points on this.